Hi, my name is Mike Jensen, and I want to show you how to get stunning and sharp looking images of the moon like this one with a really pretty easy process. Let's get started. This is a tool called ASI Studio. Uh, I use it for my astrophotography for checking um, uh, pictures on that, but it also has a component called planetary video stacking. I'm going to open that up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is bring in a video file of the moon that I shot. This was shot through a telescope using a mono camera, black and white camera, uh, through a different set of filters. This works perfect for a, uh, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with a long lens, I'd say probably about a 400 millimeter lens. Prime lenses work a little bit better, but you can use a telephoto. Um, put it on a tripod, make sure you've got it uh, set so that uh, it will cover about 30, 30 seconds of the moon moving through the sky if you don't have a, uh, an equatorial mount or if you don't have a star tracker. This will work great on a star tracker as well, so uh, you can give that a try uh, also. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my AVI file, which is the file that uh, came uh, out of my uh, camera from my telescope. And um, you can see that it's upside down, but uh, we'll fix that here. And here I want to show you what the video looks like. Uh, this is 30 seconds worth of video, about 20 frames per second, so around 600 uh, frames uh, in the video. And you can see this was taken at 10 o'clock at night on December 23rd, and you can see I'm still getting some, uh, some thermal waves coming off of the Earth uh, between the Earth and the Moon. Um, so let's stop that. Sometimes it will ask you uh, if it came from a mono camera or from a, uh, a color camera. Um, and uh, you just click on whichever one it was. Uh, I'm going to select the stack type as moon or sun, and I'm going to reduce the stacking down to, let's say, 25%, and then all I have to do is click on stack. This takes hardly any time at all. By the way, the ASI Studio is a free download from the ASI website. I'll give you the link at the end of it. Now, look at the before and after. That's just uh, really, really incredible, if you ask me. Uh, the stunning uh, sharpness that we get out of that. Um, you can make some minor adjustments here on the right-hand side. Uh, brightness, contrast, noise reduction. There's no, not a whole lot of noise. I'm just going to click on Save. Uh, it will save not only a, a video, but also a JPEG, and it will save a FITS file. So if you want to take it into your your uh, Astro software, PixInsight, or uh, APP, something like that, Cyril, uh, you can do that as well. So I'm going to click on Save. And now I'm really done with this software. Um, so I can I can get rid of that. I'll bring over uh, Adobe Bridge, and here is the JPEG that I just created. I double click on it to bring up Photoshop, and check that out. That's pretty sharp, isn't it? Um, we can do some more work in it if we want to. Uh, we can crop it. Um, uh, if this were a color image, you could work on uh, bringing out the uh, uh, some of the colors to do like a mineral moon. Uh, I'll I'll do a video on that a little down the road. But uh, bottom line is, I used 15% of the uh, images and uh, got such a great looking uh, image out of this. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is a great way of getting a really nice sharp moon image. Um, in a very, very little amount of time, you don't have to do a lot of work in Photoshop. You don't have to do a lot of work in Lightroom. And uh, it's just a really great way to do this.